Good morning, everyone. This is Superintendent of Schools Curtis Coates with our weekly update. As we draw closer to our holiday recess, I want to take a moment to congratulate all of our musicians, our student musicians throughout the district. At the pleasure over the last two weeks of attending in-person concerts for all of our schools. And in some cases, this was the first time that some of our student musicians had performed a live concert in front of their family and loved ones. Every bit of music that we heard around the district was absolutely beautiful. It was just an affirmation of the hard work of our students and our teachers that happens on a regular basis. Congratulations and well done to everyone that was involved. I also want to take a moment to thank our middle school today. We were fortunate enough to have witness to a beautiful program called Rees Across America. And I'd like to give a special thank you to Ms. Patty Capajama who brought our students down to visit the Rees Across America truck that stopped here in front of the district office here on Main Street, where we were able to give special thanks and congratulations to the leaders of the program who go nationwide to give special recognition to the honored veterans that serve our country all over, across the world. It was a beautiful opportunity to celebrate our country and those that serve our country. And I'm so grateful to Mrs. Capucciamo and the students that participated today. And I hope you enjoy some of the photos that are included in this update. Finally, I'd like to speak to our quarantine procedures. I have received many communications from our families that are growing concerned over the quarantine procedures. I beg first for your patience with our school nurses. Our school nurses are only following what is shared with them from the New York State Department of Health and the Orange County Department of Health. Further, we did receive a memo from the New York State Department of Health dated December 3rd regarding test out procedures or test to stay procedures. That memo from the New York State Department of Health deferred to local departments of health throughout New York State on what decisions could be made locally. In communication with our Orange County Department of Health, the Orange County Department of Health is currently very focused on vaccination and vaccination rates as a mitigation strategy for reducing positive numbers of COVID cases in our county. We have a very positive relationship, if you will, pardon the pun, with our Department of Health and we want to maintain that and we'll maintain ongoing communication with the Department of Health over our concerns on quarantine procedures. However, at this time, the Orange County Department of Health is asking school districts not to participate in test to stay or test out of quarantine procedures. A link to that memo will be shared also in this video. Again, we are committed to working in every way possible to make sure that we preserve in-person instruction while simultaneously being responsible and being conscious of student and staff health at the same time. Thank you so much, folks. Have a wonderful weekend, and we're almost there for a nice recess. It's coming soon. Have a great weekend.